Hey guys and welcome to another video about Reverse 1999. In today's video, we are going to go over how many clear drops and summons you can get per month, how much you can actually get from different events, and we are also going to talk about how you can get even more on top of that as a beginner. We'll be getting a ton of new characters in the near future, so it can be a good idea to start planning out your pools right now so that you can get the limited character that you like. Starting things off, let's talk about how many clear drops you can expect to get per month just by simply logging in and doing your activities. So from the daily activeness or basically your daily missions, you are able to get 90 clear drops after you get enough points to complete all of the checkpoints. Every single day you are given a bunch of missions that either give you 1 or 2 points and those points are going to count towards different checkpoints that give you rewards. And then you basically need a total of 16 points to claim all of the rewards for the day. A lot of the missions are going to be completed as you burn your energy or activity. So this is not going to be a lot of work for the most part. Next up, you are also getting 100 more every week and this is basically going to be similar to the other activity card but instead of 16 points, you are going to need 27 points to get all the rewards from this. So in a span of 30 days, you are going to get 2,700 clear drops from dailies, 400 from weeklies, and that comes down to 3,100 clear drops which is enough for 17 summons. Another way for you to get more clear drops every month is by completing the stages in the Limbo. For those who are not aware, Limbo is basically the endgame content for Reverse 1999. So think of Spiral Abyss from Genshin and the Memory of Chaos from Star Rail. This is not something many people can do right now, but this will be one of your main goals as you progress further into the game. So once you are able to clear this, you will be able to get 600 clear drops every 2 weeks, so that is going to be 1200 additional clear drops to your monthly income. But even before before you get to the limbo itself, you can actually get a pretty generous amount from the surface which is basically the easier version of limbo. You can get 300 per stage after you get 10 stars, so that is going to be a grand total of 3000 clear drops just by beating this content. So adding all of the permanent sources for clear drops, you are able to get up to 4300 clear drops or basically the equivalent of 23 summons per month. Moving on let's talk about different ways you can get more summons in this game, like different one time things that you might not know about, and we are also going to talk about future events events. The first one is going to be the Trials book in the story campaign. I have completed mine so it's no longer on the screen, but if you haven't done this yet, you should be able to see an icon beside the trace counter on the top right corner of the campaign screen. This is going to be a fast way to get extra pulls and at the same time, learn about the different mechanics in this game. Some stages are a bit more difficult especially for the later ones, but you're gonna be able to find guides about it in YouTube if you find yourself struggling. Next up, the other way you can get more summons is by putting your characters in the wilderness. This is going to increase their bond and you'll be able to unlock additional character stories which will then give you more clear drops. I only have 5 out of 7 characters because I don't use the gacha in this account. But definitely make sure that you have this number maxed out and also switch out the characters that already have all of their stories unlocked. And very quickly, if you don't know where to find the character stories, all you have to do is to select any character that you want, click on the triangle icon on the top left, and click on story on the left side of the screen. As for the events, you can also get a couple of summons, but the amount of summons you get is going to be different from each one. Currently, we have two different limited time events that are ongoing, and those are the 8 daily letters and the storm visitors event. You only have to log in to get the rewards, and these two events are going to give you a total of 23 summons. As for the upcoming events, the very first one that we are getting is the satellite event, which is kind of like a mini event so we won't be getting anything crazy from this. This first event will have 5 stages that will be opened one by one throughout 5 days. And for each one of the stages, we will be able to get 60 clear drops on top of the different upgrade materials. So 300 might not be too crazy, but I think it's fine because the event rewards are leaning more towards upgrades and account progression which I think is more valuable early on so that you can actually start clearing more content with more powerful characters. As I mentioned before, I actually don't use the gacha in this account because that is just how I play the game. I plan to clear limbo just by using free units before I even think about spending my resources on the gacha. But I say this because currently, as of making this video, I now have 11,000 clear drops and 39 additional summons. So I would say that this game is a little bit more on the generous side when it comes to summons because I've only been playing for a week and I already have this much. I also believe that every single player can get around 150 pulls just by clearing the campaign up to chapter 4, so that is plenty of summons to work with. With that being said, hopefully now you have a better idea of how many summons you can get per month and how you can get more summons as a beginner player. If you found this video useful, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.